Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. All right. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the BFM committee, I would like to welcome everyone present here to Innovation in Personal Financial Management, a lesson to budding leaders of tomorrow with Mr. With Dr. Okay. With Dr. Sharan Kumar Shetty, myself, Shubham Jain, the president of BFM committee. Before we begin, I would like to introduce our esteemed principal, Dr. Pooja Ram Chandani, who has been a constant pillar of support and guidance for all of us. Her constant encouragement has always motivated us to push our boundaries and achieve excellence. Due to some prior commitment, Pooja Ma'am won't be able to attend today's session. I would like also like to introduce Dr. Dr. Shweta Singh, the professor in charge of our committee. She has been exceptionally supportive and an insightful teacher who always encourage, encourages us to push our boundaries and accomplish our goals. We also have Professor Vicky Sir, who is who is also a teacher in charge, who is an instrumental part of making our committee a success. Uh, over to you, ma'am. Uh, thank you, Shubham. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, we welcome you, Dr. Sharan Shetty, and it's my pleasure to introduce our speaker for today. Uh, sir has uh, sir is an associate professor and head in international relation with MSN Institute of Management, Mangaluru. Uh, he is a dynamic. Uh, he has a dynamic career spanning nearly two, two, two decades. He has delivered six hundred plus webinars on financial markets, startup initiatives, career guidance, and motivational talks to educational institutions and corporates in India and abroad. Sir is veteran in the field of management education, research and administration with a vibrant career that reflects rich Indian and overseas experience and year on success in teaching, teaching research and educational leadership. Dr. Shetty is a recipient of Adhyapak Award of the Year by the Teachers Mitra Trust, Hubli Karnataka. Sir, we welcome you for the session and uh, over to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Uh... Uh, Madam and uh, Professor uh, Vicky and uh, the principal head of the department and all my dear student friends, it gives me an immense pleasure to be part of your institution today. And uh, thank you very much uh, for joining uh, Saturday afternoon. So I will definitely make uh, you know you to be knowledgeable once you attend this particular webinar. As you all aware, you are, you are seeing what are the challenges in finance today and why we need to look into managing our finance. I hope the slide is visible to you all. Yes, sir. Yeah. So thank you very much. And once again, uh, welcome you all to this webinar. My dear friends, we have seen through and we have experienced a lot of challenges during COVID and after COVID. Today, when I was seeing through the newspaper, there are a lot of companies, the laying off, I mean, the people are saying laid off, laid off, laid off. And hardly we can see people are, you know, they're very stabilized in one of the companies. So all this because of, you know, poor management of finance by the corporates and an individual for that matter. So looking at that perspective, I'm going to give you a gyan, I mean, this may be a kind of, uh, you know, help to you all to think with the different examples. So how can we manage our funds with the different innovation? So that is why I call it as innovation. So that is why we will have to see how beautifully we can make ourselves to be happy and lead our life without any financial crisis. So you see in India, there are two stock exchanges. One is BSC and NSC. BSC was started way back in 1875. It's more than 145 years. NSC started in 1992. The question mark here is, though we have world's second largest after Amsterdam stock exchange, which is located in Netherlands, what is our contribution being students? See, I myself worked abroad for a long time. And when I returned to India, I thought, okay, why can't I start a company in the campus? Keeping that in mind, immediately after returning in the year 2018, before COVID, I started a company in the campus. The name of the company is Capital Advisors LLP. 
the main intention of this company to be formed is to make people understand what is the importance of this today just now before this webinar i got one message from one of the students from saint joseph one of the prestigious institution in bengaluru in india saint joseph autonomous institution and i visited that institution in the month of july as a guest and later in the september again one more visit i had i had to that institution that person the student had sent me a message saying that sir we have started a company a company is into stock i mean the dmat and all that in india hardly 4 to 5% people are actively investing in the stock market sir there is a gray area that is why we have developed a app on that so please contribute and give your help towards that immediately i forwarded this app to all my students so this is what is happening around the world and we need to see how can we make potent ourselves so that is why building wealth with the capital market let us see how can we build wealth with the capital market ji aap sab ne dekha hoga three idiot ka movie that is actually three idiots that is amir khan ka movie aap sab ne dekha hoga fir we have we have explored we have we had a very great note on certain things i'm not talking about the film is great and all that stuff but still i'm saying some lessons we got out of it. there is one more movie called the movie from one idiot what we mean by that karcha zabardasti hai hum log bahut se bahut karcha karte hain din bhar mein zyada se zyada hum kya karte hain credit card hamara credit card use karte hain fir debit card ko hum 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 dur mein rakhte hain you we don't we are not dare enough to use our debit card why because yeah bank is giving money let me use that money that's credit card so this is what general mentality of people aap sabko pata hai aap chatro logo ko aap students you you are you all aware what is extent of which people are aware of you know increasing their wealth to the credit cards which is warren buffett says it's a dangerous thing since you don't have money with you it's a dangerous thing you are using somebody else's money if anything happens definitely you will be in a problem you will be in a critical condition so that is why karcha zabardasti hai hum log bahut se bahut karcha karte hai if you buy things which are not required you would have to sell things which are required aapko abhi thoda sa unke bare mein dhyan dena chahiye kaise hum log save karenge bachat karenge kaise punji bazar mein hum nivesh kar sakte hai punji bazar se kaise hum log bachat kar sakte hai bachat se nivesh फिर इसके बाद क्या वित्त के बारे में हम लोग बहुत से बहुत ध्यान देना सो दिस इज वॉट वी नीड टू नो हाउ कैन वी फोकस ऑन दैट लिविंग यू नो पीपल आर लिविंग ऑन क्रेडिट दे आर देर क्रिएटिंग वरीज समवेयर वारन बफेट से लुक एट इज लाइफ स्टोरी ही से यू बी अवे यू बी अवे फ्रॉम यू डर क्रेडिट कार्ड लोन एंड ऑल दैट स्टफ इफ यू आर एबल टू डेर इनफ टू मेक यूज ऑफ दैट यू हैव टू हैव समर्टन असेट्स विद यू सो दैट इज वाई you need to know how are we going to create a wealth for you spend the time thinking about the money and the way you deal with it people remember that future is not the extrapolation of the past sales people selling financial products based on the historical returns even the asset allocation is also very critical it can be an equity or a debt etc don't mix financial products it can be an insurance investment or a tax saving aap sabko pata hai by this time all of you must be understanding that what is an equity equity is a own fund loan is a you know equity is a own fund debt is a loan fund please remember this is an important parameter on people have to check don't mix financial products it can be insurance investment live your life your way we work for money throughout of our life let us think how can money work for us please remember this is an important parameter which has to be considered throughout of our life some questions अभी देखेंगे थोड़ा सा क्वेश्चन के बारे में हम देखेंगे हमारा लाइफ के बारे में हमारा जीवन के बारे में सो लेट एस स्वीट टू दैट व्हाई डू यू स्टडी आप किस लिए पढ़ाई कर रहे हैं फिर टू वर्क बट व्हाई डू यू वांट टू वर्क टू अर्न व्हाई डू यू वांट टू अर्न टू स्पेंड व्हाई डू यू वांट टू स्पेंड टू लिव ए ग्रेट लाइफ बट यू आर ऑल स्टक इन समवेयर आर यू ऑल स्टक इन सम प्लेस समवेयर सम थॉट यस वी आर स्टक सो दैट ब्रेकिंग दैट थिंग वी हैव टू एलिमिनेट नाउ you have to come out of it we need to see that why how and how can you make it happen with a positive note i'll give you some examples so that it can be very clear uh, to you all that note see what will you do if you are given a check per month to meet your operational experience you all aware what is operational experience day to day whatever the spendings you do on food or stationery on transportation on certain things that is called as an operational experience 
operational expense the that operational expense is actually borne by you which was actually given by which is given by your parents so let us take every day your parents are giving some 200 rupees as your pocket money how many of us are at least thinking about okay i am not earning let me save my parents money without their notice and you believe it or not the simple calculation out of the 200 given by your parents those so aapka parents every day so there are out of 200 if you save at least 20% of 200 20% of 200 is 2 twos are 4 40 rupees per day 40 rupees for 10 days it is 400 for 20 days it is 800 for 30 days it is 1200 my dear friends the 30 days 1200 whatever you are going to save for 10 months it will become 12000 for 20 months it will become 24000 for 30 months it will become 36 my dear friends in the four years of degree if at all you have four year as per MEP, you can make 50000 as a saving which is not your hard earned money it is your parents they gave you as a pocket money so this is how you people have to think and you people have to start your journey. So there you can, you know, you will learn how the saving has to happen. You may be knowing because I lived in Australia, I lived in Singapore, I lived in Vietnam, Malaysia. I had seen how these students are, you know, day, in Canada also. Morning, they go to their studies and in the evening after 2, 3 o'clock till 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock they are. But in India, we don't have culture, that culture. But slowly the colleges institute started to send the students as an intern or to you know, work outside so that their knowledge will improve. It is actually learn while or earn while learn or something like that. So that is why you will be creative with your expressions to build something big. But unfortunately, nobody is going to give us a check. We have to learn how to get with our own action. Please remember. Now focus on the post-tax earnings. What do you mean by post-tax earnings? My dear friends, please remember post-tax earnings is what? See, once you complete your degree from this prestigious institution, HR College of Commerce and Economics in Mumbai, see, you will get a very good opportunity elsewhere. It can be national, international, and top uh, companies. Your salary may be in the initial period, it may be 50,000 per month. 50,000 per month for complete one year, it will become how much? 6 lakh. 6 lakh, apka monthly salary ho gabi. So, 6 lakh may, when your employer deducts some as some money as a tax, let us take 10,000, it deducts 1 lakh 20,000. From Chelak, if it deducts, it will become Charla Kasyaza. To a 10,000 in per month, Mahine me Dasazar, Exal me they can get up Kokite Milega, Ek lakh Bisazar Ota. O Ek lakh Bisazar Abi, up Chelak se minus Karegat up Kitna Hoga, Charla Kasyaza Hoga. Usko Amkia Bolte, post tax earnings Bolte. Amlo Gusko net profit we Bolte, Amara finance word me. So Uske Bad, as Warren Buffett says, his golden words to all of you. He says, don't save what is left after spending. Instead, you spend what is left after saving. I would like to reiterate that. Don't save what is left after spending. Instead, you spend what is left after saving. Okay, you are saying that you are saying that you are saving money. What is money? 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 Whatever we are actually getting out of it, that should go to your spending. So that is why this is very, very important. Every income earned is not equal because of the differential tax treatment. See now, 4 lakh 80, when you save some 30% of 4 lakh 80, 48 plus 48 plus 48 is equal to 1 lakh 44. Remaining how much? 4 lakh 80 minus 1 lakh 44 is equal to 3 lakh 36. This 3 lakh 36 should be for the spending. So every income earned is not equal because of the differentiated tax treatment. Salaried and the profession income are fully taxable. Salaried people spend the money from the post to tax income. Businesses pay taxes from the post expense income. They are at advantage. Even the dividend income is also taxable in the hands of the shareholder and LTCG at 10% applicable on profit made above rupees 1 lakh. So that is why when you are selling the equity shares, you are able to pay that. So one should focus on the post tax earnings. Please remember, which is very relevant and very important for all of you to know. In this picture, you can see Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett says, as I told you, he is talking about first and foremost, he says about first earning, then saving, then spending. So that is the criteria. That is the way in which you should function. It should not be like you say you earn, you spend and you save. If at all you earn 1000, if you spend around 950, remaining 50, you try to save, that 50 won't last long. Please remember, my dear friends, if you're earning 1000, save 600, and then 400 you spend. Don't try to save 600. Save 600. Try to spend 400. That's all. Finish. 
So alter the equation. Earning minus spending is equal to saving. To earning minus saving is equal to spending. So this should be your mantra henceforth. You should chant this forever, and you should teach this to everyone around you. Invest to build wealth, my dear friends. Saving alone does not build the wealth. Deploy your savings prudently to maintain or improve the value that is in your hand. You are able to deploy it. You are able to take care of it. That deployment and that taking care will definitely add value to you all. When you are thinking about that, everything will go in a proper manner or a right direction. So all of you are able to create that. What extent it helps you, and what is that? It will help you to create something big. That is why, my dear friends, you know, saving does not build wealth. You have to deploy your savings prudently to maintain or improve the value, which is very, very essential. Now, when you talk about building assets. you know why you have to building as build asset the building asset is a mandatory thing all of you please remember see when when we talk about building an asset see understand uh, i remember when i was working i was part of accenture you know it's a us based company i was working in bangalore those days i was recruiting students especially passed out to, from mba and all that and i was in a recruitment technical team and i used to ask this question first question in order to check their common sense what do you mean by asset you believe it or not out of the 10 i asked nine people are giving the wrong answer at least one person gives me the correct answer they say sir uh, vehicle is an asset furniture is an asset and i used to left and right used to tell them you are not at all fit for this job my my task used to become very easy for me to understand the common sense of the students see the company is high performance delivered the punch line the logo is greater than if being an recruitment officer if i am appointing these people tomorrow how what is the guarantee that they will definitely work for that organization throughout with the with, the, with their lot of knowledge when somebody says that it is completely wrong then what is an asset see after completing your degree from hr college of commerce and economics so in a prestigious institution in mumbai you will get a job your a job is your salary may be 50000 initially i'm not talking about afterwards it's 50000 initially i'm taking minimum and once you get a job you need to buy a car when you want to buy a car aap kya karte hai aap dealer ke paas jate hai dealer kya bolte hai ki okay car ka price kitna hota hai 20 lakh hoga wo 20 lakh uske baad kya karna hai aapka paas paisa nahi hai aap kahan pe jana hai aapko bank mein jana hai paisa lene ke liye bank ek bank bolenge aap bank manager bolenge aap se kya ki yo kya ki 20 lakh aapka hum log nahi de sakte hum log 80 प्रतिशत क्या बोलते हैं 20 प्रतिशत आप देना है फिर रिमेनिंग हम लोग देंगे दे देंगे सी नाउ फॉर दैट 20 20 प्रतिशत यू नीड टू गो टू द अदर बैंक व्हेन यू फिनिश ऑल दैट टास्क योर योर बैंकर विल गिव सम 10 इयर्स ऑफ ईएमआई पीरियड इक्वेटेड मंथली इंस्टॉलमेंट्स ऑफ ही विल से पर मंथ यू हैव टू पे 20000 एंड देन यू बिलीव इट और नॉट व्हेन यू कंप्लीट दैट प्रोसेस आफ्टर चार्जिंग ऑल द प्रोसेसिंग फीस इंटरेस्ट एंड ऑल दैट इफ यू सी योर बैलेंस शीट इन द एसेट साइड इट शोस Not at all an asset, twenty lakh as a vehicle, but in the liability side it shows twenty five lakh in your personal bank. My dear friends, after finishing all the ten years of EMI, आप वो कार को बेचने चाहते हैं, वो बेचने के समय में वो कार आप क्या बीस लाख दिया, पच्चीस लाख का original value. Please remember, my dear friends. So that is why if it is not an asset it is a liability in that case so asset is something which earns you while you hold it and as value hopefully appreciating over a period of time so asset is not a asset just because it appears on your asset side for example car while it appears on your asset side of your balance sheet it does not earn and its value continuously depreciates it is indeed a liability so assets are equities bonds rented real estates etc so these are all called as an asset please remember that so asset allocation is also an important parameter allocate your asset prudently over various asset classes so asset allocation to happen based on your cash flow position and the financial goals understand the asset profile based on the liquidity ease of taxability transaction cost legality <coughs> etc put a financial plan in place and follow that in a disciplined manner to become rich which is very very relevant and you need to know how you have to see to that and compounding you may be knowing compounding is very magical word why right? because 
compounding gives you lot of extra income whatever you have invested so far one of my friends mere ek friend bolte the mujhe so he was telling me he had his father deposited rupees 15000 15000 1980 mein unka dad deposit kaya kahan pe kenra bank mein 1980 mein kya deposit kiya unhone 15000 maine bola na wo money wo paisa 204 mein 4 lakh 80000 hua so there was a jump of 4 lakh 65000 in 24 years so it was possible those days and i will tell you so this is a great magic because we have one more thing power of magical in a dual aspect i mean doubling period you know that formula everybody may be knowing 0.35 plus 0.39 plus 6, 0.60 those formula divided by uh, interest divided by 72 0.35 plus 69 divided by interest so this formula it gives you a compounding effect i mean uh, the doubling period effect compounding is also a magical thing people must be aware how this compounding should help them in order to make them understand on compounding please remember which is very relevant so what are the precautions i was talking about the stock market i was talking about the demat accounts and all that stuff i gave an example of a saint joseph in college of uh, you know autonomous institution in bangalore one of the prestigious in commerce education and these people are coming up with their own application they want to connect to the people around and they want people to invest if at all you want to invest what are the precautions you need to take please remember my dear friends what precautions aap sab dekhna hai ek deal with only the registered brokers and sub brokers abhi aap mumbai mein maharashtra mein dekhenge to abhi aapko zyada sa 500 ke zyada broking house milenge aapko mumbai mein bahut se bahut broking house hai aap dekhenge to bahut se bahut broking house aapko milte hain wahan pe aap pehle invest karne ke pehle aap kya dekhna hai ki sebi mein wo logo ka registration hua aur nahi so that is the first step you need to know to so deal with only the registered brokers and the sub brokers you contract not to be misled by the market rumors or a hot tips etc you need to have a clarity on that take informed decisions by studying the fundamentals of the company what is a fundamental fundamentals are balance sheet income statement cash flow statement fund flow statement all are fundamentals please remember that so this is an important parameter on which you need to look into so that is why which is very very important do not be attracted by the announcements fantastic results about a company you have to be extra careful on that do not be attracted to the stocks based on what internet website promotes do your study properly you need to have a clarity on that low price penny stocks do not guarantee you high results some of my friends used to tell me students used to tell me sir we we invest some 1 rupee per share and by evening we could say 1 rupee had become 2 rupee we made a money of 2 lakh if at all we invest 1 lakh so my dear friends this is generally a kind of a word a rumor which is actually created among people but the reality you should understand only through the fundamentals and the technicals and sudden spurt in the stock price you have to be very cautious about it any advice or a tip that claims huge return may lead to losing some of your stocks you have to be extra careful on that issue account to pay check in the name of your broker as it appears on the contract note so you people have to know how relevant these are for the extra effort of yours so that is why now when we look at our own checklist what is required for all of us is actually we have to check for these many things especially people today's world people have to have the life insurance when they have the life insurance definitely if there is any problem that protection will happen when we talk about the investment we have to also look into the protection aspect aap usko bhi dekhna padega aap in bima dekhenge to aap protection ke bare mein bhi aapko dekhna padega ek life insurance dekhiye term plan bolenge hum log फिर हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस भी देख लीजिए फिर डिसेबिलिटी इंश्योरेंस भी आपको मिलते हैं फिर इन्वेस्टमेंट इन शॉर्ट टर्म लॉन्ग टर्म डेट इक्विटी म्यूचुअल फंड फिक्स डिपॉजिट्स रियल एस्टेट ये सब आप देखेंगे फिर चाइल्ड एजुकेशन भी देखिए वहां पे भी आपको इंफॉर्मेशन मिलते हैं चाइल्ड एजुकेशन फंड के बारे में रिटायरमेंट प्लान भी आप देखेंगे वहां पे भी आपको ज्यादा सा अभी लोग ज्यादा से ज्यादा कमाई ज्यादा से ज्यादा वो पैसा कहां पे डालते रिटेल में वो रिटायरमेंट रिटर्न के बारे में फंड में भी डालता डालते इसलिए वो सब इंफॉर्मेशन आपको चाहिए बीइंग ए स्टूडेंट ऑफ द प्रेस्टिजियस इंस्टीट्यूशन तो व्हाट इज व्हाट इज चार्ली मुंगर सेस अभी मैं आपको थोड़ा सा मोटिवेशनल स्पिरिट और मोटिवेशनल टॉक देता हूं उसमें से आपको ज्यादा इंफॉर्मेशन मिलेगी सो व्हाई वी नीड टू नो अबाउट दिस पीपल चार्ली मुंगर सेस दैट एज लॉन्ग एज यू डोंट डू एनी नॉनसेंस विद योर मनी यू वुड एंड अप बिकमिंग रिच इफ यू आर डिसिप्लिन एंड पेशेंट बट फ्रेंड्स डिसिप्लिन एंड पेशेंस आर द टू इंपॉर्टेंट पैरामीटर्स व्हाई बिकॉज़ 
you know i have told about warren buffett when warren buffett started investing at the age of 11 he says it was too late i could have i started my investment at at the age of 5 had i started my investment at the age of 5 i could have made lot of money but today i cannot why because it's gone time is already gone that is why my dear friends all of you when you want to think about adding money to your own your own things so you need to know how can i create that culture in the minds of everybody so that is what you need to have that the kind of an effort to with the, which you need to understand why people have to think about managing the fund that is why my dear friends all of you when you are talking about managing the fund you need to create that extra effort and you will have to know how it will help you as long as you don't do any nonsense with your money you know you would end up becoming rich if you are disciplined and patient so that is why discipline and patience are the two important parameters on which everybody works and it is very relevant for everyone now you know right, there is one more person you may be aware that is a stephen covey he talks about right things in life is to do right things so my dear friends right things in life is to do right things live a principle centered life see your life is a principle centered all of you have to be extra careful how can we build that principle centeredness in the minds of everyone so that because he has written a book called uh, you know seven habits of highly effective people where he talks about uh, be proactive begin with the end in mind put to first thing first synergize sharpen the saw seek first to understand and all that so here what he wants to say is the right things in life is to do right thing live a principle centered life so you have a very beautiful life you must know how to take care of that beautiful life and you should have a hold on your life when you have a financially strong habit in you definitely you have a hold in your life otherwise you will lose the track in your life so you need to know how can you proceed with that so that is why right things in life is to do right things live a principle centered life have a habit of building that ability to in order to make yourself happy and there is one more person benjamin franklin who talks about it takes many good deeds to build a good reputation and only one bad one to lose it you know benjamin franklin who is a leader and he talks about vijay malya ketan pare karshad mehta ramalinga raju vr shetty and there is a there are people like nirav modi see these people once upon a time the way they have created the job opportunity the way they have built the kingdom for the societal benefit was a huge contribution throughout the world but today due to some mismanagement some kind of a carelessness their name and fame is gone so that is why people lose the track in them so you are you are to be role model to others you need to create an extra effort to make everybody happy that there should be something which will help you forever so it takes many good deeds to build a good reputation and only one bad one to lose it but dear friends all of you need to have that creation in the minds of everybody you have to create that uh, for the rest of your life so that must be in your blood and you people how to have that mastery skill in you so that your life will become more successful that is what he says benjamin frank now when we look at this uh, holistic wealth what do we mean holistic wealth see holistic wealth consists of we have physical wealth see people they always expect physically good the physical wealth Which, which is actually we call it as a health physical is nothing but it is a nothing but a health if you have a very good physic definitely your health will be taken care your finance will be taken care so that is why general note people when they want to get into the attribute of building you know the physical wealth everything will go in a right direction or a proper direction otherwise what will happen is people may lose their track and it is very difficult for them to you know improve the knowledge or improve the will so that is why all of you you need to create how efficiently you can you can build that okay for the rest of your life so that's why physical wealth is important we have financial wealth we do have uh, professional wealth we have social wealth we have intellectual wealth and also we have spiritual wealth which is very very relevant and you need to create what is important and why you need to know about all that so that is why as i told you physical wealth is nothing but our health financial wealth is financially how if financially we are strong that will be that is actually majorly judged by this financial wealth you know the strength then we have a professional wealth intrapersonal interpersonal these are called as a you know this plays a major role you call it a professionally how good are you are you able to cope up with the situation with the people around you or what is it so that is why physically are you 
are you fit enough to make everything happy or make everything clear so that will come into picture so that is why my dear friends all of you you need to know that how are you going to how are you going to create it how are you going to create this good uh, environment for the rest of your life so you need to have so this kind of an avenue so that people like people definitely appraise or people definitely make a use of for your skills or your intellectuals that's why spiritual intellectual social professional financial physical all matter so i would like to recommend you two important books i don't want you to buy the hard copy of the books i want you guys to at least download these book definitely these books reading the books will increase your knowledge today i read lot of books and whatever the confidence whatever the skill of communicating that i have that is only because of the books the books if you read books definitely you will reach where you want to reach because book will give you lot of information though you are a commerce graduate economics graduate or even you know uh, science or a finance graduate whichever the graduation you pursue but ultimately in order to make your knowledge incremental or marginal so what you need to do see we have to capitalize it we have to treasureize it how are we going to do we can do it through the books so there are two important books even i read enjoying this book enjoy reading this book see there is one book called mad money journey the book was written by mehra birani a great uh, author you all aware and this author was given an information by a by a doctor's friend a doctor whose friend has given uh, this information to this author what does this doctor do is he was a very famous doctor well to do with his finance he is basically from us and uh, he was a orthopedic surgeon and this doctor one day committed suicide he was well to do with his all his finance and he was very busy in contributing towards the societal benefits you know charity and all that stuff one day he committed suicide the reason is the father later he found this doctor was very busy in building his net worth he has completely forgotten his self worth see my dear friends what is net worth net worth is the difference between asset and liability self worth is actually the peace tranquility happiness satisfaction goodwill all we call it as a self worth if you have a very good self worth everything will go in a right manner if you have only the net worth what will happen is you just create a net worth but your self worth has been broken so that is why all of us when we think about the net worth we also have to ensure that our self worth also created our self worth also been increased over a period of time so this is what you need to think and you need to look into when you look into into all these aspects of what will happen is you will get a very good life ahead otherwise there may be there may be there may be a chance that you may lose that track that is why all of you my dear friends please remember self worth net worth which is a very important parameter when you talk about the net worth when you talk about the self worth self worth is equally important like your net worth let us create that one by one so that is why later author found that people have to look into self worth rather than the net worth that should come first there is one more book called rich dad and poor dad some of you might have read this book the rich dad and poor dad book rich people are busy in building assets poor people are busy in building liabilities so what is that important for us we need to build assets because you know lot of lot of the times these poor people they are going behind the bank money bank money bank money they completely ignore the what we call it as uh, their own earned money which is creating the asset so people remember when you are thinking about your asset asset creation has to happen when you are creating that asset what will happen is that asset creation will give you a clarity on how to increase the knowledge of yourself because it is actually nothing but when you are creating an asset that will definitely getting increased so when you are simply you already bought some asset based on the loan when you go on building that definitely that loan won't go off it will increase your loan so you know what you need to do so asset building has to happen before that you have a great mind it's a it's a great asset mind is a great asset try to build that asset first then everything will take its own time to build it that is why you have to look into the financial stability you know you have to look into the financial literacy you have to look into the educate financial education 
financial intimacy financial stability financial sustainability so these are the very important parameters on which everything works so you all have to think about managing this when you are thinking about managing this all your thoughts will go in a proper direction or in a proper way otherwise you may lose that uh, in a in a in a in a in a right uh, way of right direction that is why all of you you need to know you need to create uh, everything uh, everything uh, will happen uh, in in a different direction so that is why my dear friends all of you have to remember all of you have to understand that so this will give you a clarity on building that so my dear friends please remember whenever you want to talk about uh, a building an asset uh, so that asset creation has to come in you and you need to know that how people can make use of these assets how can they utilize the asset formation and why they have to look into that so why that is how you need to know financial literacy financial education financial policy all that which will contribute to the development of the people around you so that is why my dear friends you need to know how can we create that so my concluding remark to all of you i am just going to conclude my 40 minutes of presentation so my concluding remark to all of you you how to become a learning machine please remember when you become a learning machine everything will go in a proper direction because always i say to make yourself as hot cake when you are making yourself as a hot cake everything will go in a right way or a right direction because so you need to think about hot creation concept that is why my dear friends you all have to know how are we going to create that extra effort extra mile in our mileage in our life that is only through our effort and that is all you need to understand that what is that which is happening around you that is very very important what is that which is going around you that is also very important note so you need, need to know that is how you need to create because so this is a positive way in which you have to think so i am just completing my talk here so i am just sharing my details over here so presentation part is completed 40 minutes i have completed my presentation now the time is for the q and a session and this is my contact number for all of you my contact number my email id and my linkedin profile to connect with thank you very much uh, a special thanks to uh, madam professor so and all the faculty members shweta madam and all the faculty members thank you very much. thank you so much sir it was a very insightful session uh, now we are open for question and answers if any of you have any questions you can just type it in the chat box you can directly send it to sharan sir or you can uh, type in the chat box like will answer will answer your question sir uh, one question which i had was is yeah. like in the <clears throat> starting of your uh, presentation you mentioned that you used to work in abroad and then you came to india so why is it so like uh, uh, a lot of young like a lot of young blood we we like we have this thing that we have we want to go abroad to study and settle there <clears throat> but like what it is it you came back to india so what do you think uh, like in abroad the opportunities weren't that good or no no see my this my reason is i for a personal reason okay. had to come to india due to some family related personal issues but i'll tell you when you're going abroad definitely you will have to continue there for long so definitely you will grow but here one opportunity which i found after coming here being an yes. academician i myself started a company capital advisors llp and i'm very happy that through that company i can make these many you know uh, programs and i can connect people around the uh, country and all that so this is i'll tell you everywhere there is an opportunity but you will have to make use of it but in india if you look at in mumbai and maharashtra area especially recently this is what i want to say recently when i was conducting webinar for one of the nagpur based colleges basically nagpur is from maharashtra and one of the students is asking sir uh, uh, after my webinar he was saying sir my own neighbor my parents they have lot of money all our you know kt what farmers uh, money we have everything we keep it in a bank account 
and we don't know how to utilize that money i said you have a great potential what you can do tie up with some finance company come up with a company you are of your own because he's a bcom student and uh, you can help your neighbors all the farmers and then at the same time you will also make money and he had started that company the firm is really doing great so that is why i'll tell you wherever you go there is a potential no no doubt in it but you have to have a will and wish to continue that that is the only thing i would like to say so also uh, a student texted me personally he had this question like uh, what would be the right time for uh, us to start financial planning okay see i'll tell you there is no right time as such because warren buffett he started at the age of 11 now we says now is 90 plus he says i could have started five at the age of five had i started at the age of five i could have made lot of uh, i could have meet met lot of people i could have improved uh, the lives of lot of people so that is what warren buffett says but i'll tell you for the financial planning my dear friends there is no you know there is no age there is no age bar there is no family there is no i mean qualification and all that stuff so what matters is you will have to take decision it's already late it's already 20 plus years you guys now it's better to start and i have started my uh, you know a speech by saying one of the students sent me an app and this is you also have to create such an opportunity don't think that anand ratti there india bulls there india info line there no no why can't you give a better service than them zaroda has come up with a new you know new kind of a model you know you have seen nitin kamath why can't you be like them so you can make your own uh, this thing and you can invest and i'll tell you there is no age uh, criteria for investment you can start also sir daniel fernandez had this question like what is uh, financial sustainability okay good question see why we use the word called sustainability is people see many people what they will do is uh, they will uh, they will invest and uh, they don't have even though they don't want that money they will just withdraw the money and spend for other purposes they don't know how to sustain them so that is why warren buffett says one thing invest invest and then reinvest because people they want to to maintain that stability of investment over a period of time till at least the age of 50 what the what some people do without uh, uh, any because requirement is not there simply they want to to spend that money they simply withdraw and then use it for some other purpose sustainability is a word which will make you to maintain your stability over the years because you have to maintain whatever you are you know investing that money you have to sustain until it gets very good result this is what is the meaning of sustainability all right yeah. sir <clears throat> sir i think uh, we'll... one last question how uh-huh. if you can take my question so uh, a student is asking like uh, since uh, we can see that we are going towards recession what would be the best avenues to invest and do you really think like uh, we are moving towards recession somewhere see there is a i'll tell you there is a reality and a myth but we are hearing about the myth now not the reality it okay. has it had happened in year 2008 i remember those days but i'll tell you every time with the though it is a fall downfall or a, it is a you know rising whatever we call it as boom or a whatever we call it as there are opportunities see now we use a word called bearish market and bullish market in the stock market mm-hmm. see what is bullish market we expect the stock price to go up and what we will do we will buy the market and when the bearish market is what we we will say okay the market will go down we are going to sell it but i'll tell you during recession time the people will seek opportunity such time people those because those days what will happen the stock price may go down in certain extent and the people can invest when the market becomes good that money will grow so this is everywhere there is a optimistic view so my dear friends let us not take that recession things and all in mind anyway all over the way world we can see layoffs are happening people are laid off and all we are hearing that but why how can we make ourselves you know survive survival make ourselves to be survived so this is what is our thing let us focus on the positive or optimistic view and we will whatever possible we will think okay this recession there or not we are not very sure it is a myth and we will see wherever possible we will try to invest and make our you know life uh, more happy that is all i would like thank you thank you sir uh... okay sir on behalf of bfm committee so i would like to thank dr sharan kumar shetty 
for sharing the valuable information and making this session enlightening for us. So your deep and your know, intellectual way of uh, imparting the knowledge has added to the glory of the seventh. Also, I would like to thank our principal and vice principals, as well as our coordinator, Dr. Dr. Shweta Singh, Shweta Singh ma'am, for supporting us. Lastly, uh, thank you all students for attending the session and making this a successful. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so much, sir. Shubham also, thank you very much. Shubham Jai. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Shweta, madam.